welcome again to Decent TNC. If it is your first time do subscribe, like and share the video. Visitors of Kigali, the capital city of Rwanda, are invariably surprised by the spotless roads, the carefully ordered traffic, and the conspicuous absence of trash. While Kagame hasn't gone so far as to follow Lee's bans on spitting or chewing gum, he has outlawed plastic bags. Nor are these the only similarities. Rwandan entrepreneurs and officials display a distinctly Singaporean boosterism as they tout their country's business-friendly philosophy. Let's compare Rwanda versus Singapore in some areas. Rwanda, officially the Republic of Rwanda, is a landlocked country in the Great Rift Valley of Central Africa, where the African Great Lakes region and East Africa converge and known for its breathtaking scenery. Rwanda is often referred to as La Pays des Mille Collines, French, Land of a Thousand Hills. Located a few degrees south of the equator Rwanda is bounded to the north by Uganda, to the east by Tanzania, to the south by Burundi, and to the west by the Democratic Republic of the Congo Kinshasa, and Lake Kivu. The capital is Kigali, located in the center of the country. Area, 26,338 square kilometers population, 12.95 million, in 2020, head of state and government, President, Paul Kagame, assisted by Prime Minister, Edouard Ngarant. Form of government, multi-party republic with two legislative houses, Senate, 26, Chamber of Deputies, 80, official languages, Rwanda, French, English, Swahili. Singapore, officially the Republic of Singapore, is a sovereign island city-state in maritime Southeast Asia. Area, 728.6 square kilometers President, Halima Yaqob Population, 5.686 million, in 2020, by World Bank Gross Domestic Product, 340 billion United States dollars, in 2020, by World Bank Continent, Asia Singapore in brief. Destination Singapore, a nation's online country profile of the multi-ethnic city-state in maritime Southeast Asia. The small archipelago is situated about 140 kilometers 87 miles north of the equator and just south of the tip of the Malay Peninsula, separated by the Straits of Johor. Singapore lies on one of the world's busiest shipping lanes along the Strait of Malacca and the South China Sea. The Strait of Singapore separates the country's islands from the Indonesian Riau archipelago in the south. The former British colonial trading post gained independence in 1965. Singapore, officially the Republic of Singapore, is known as the Lion City Singapura, and consists of the main island and about 64 smaller offshore islands, including Sentosa, the largest of the offshore islands, Pulau Ubin, St. John's Island and the Sisters Islands. Two bridges connect Singapore to Malaysia and continental Asia. The Johor-Singapore Causeway links Singapore to the Malaysian city of Johor Bahru on peninsular Malaysia. Singapore shares maritime borders with Malaysia and Indonesia. The city-state occupies an area of 718 square kilometers. Compared, it is the smallest state in Southeast Asia, approximately one-fourth of Luxembourg or somewhat larger than 3.5 times the size of the District of Columbia, Washington, D.C. Singapore has a population of about 5.7 million people in 2020 and a resident population of 4 million in 2020. Spoken languages are English, the language of administration and education, Singlish, the Singaporean Creole, Malay, Chinese, Mandarin, and Tamil. Briefly the country comparison Rwanda versus Singapore. Rwanda, capital, Kigali population, 12,952,209, surface area, 26,340 square kilometers, currency, Rwandan francs, religion, mostly Christianity Singapore, capital, Singapore, population, 5,454,000, surface area, 719 square kilometers, currency, Singapore dollars, 1 euro equals 1.4559 Singapore dollars, religion, Mostly Buddhism if you lived in Singapore instead of Rwanda, you would, health be 92.0% less likely to be living with HIV, AIDS in Rwanda, 2.5% of people are living with AIDS, HIV as of 2018. In Singapore, that number is 0.2% of people as of 2018. Live 20.9 years longer in Rwanda, the average life expectancy is 65 years, 63 years for men, 67 years for women, as of 2020. 
in Singapore. That number is 86 years, 83 years for men, 89 years for women as of 2020. Make 44.8 times more money Rwanda has a GDP per capita of $2,100 as of 2017, while in Singapore, the GDP per capita is $94,100 as of 2017. Be 18.5% less likely to be unemployed in Rwanda, 2.7% of adults are unemployed as of 2014. In Singapore, that number is 2.2% 2 .2 as of 2017. Pay a 26.7% lower top tax rate Rwanda has a top tax rate of 30.0% as of 2016. In Singapore, the top tax rate is 22.0% as of 2016. Life be 96.8% less likely to die during childbirth in Rwanda, approximately 248.0 women per 100,000 births die during labor as of 2017. In Singapore, 8.0 women do as of 2017. Be 32.9% more likely to be literate in Rwanda, the literacy rate is 73.2% as of 2018. In Singapore, it is 97.3% as of 2018. Be 91.8% less likely to die during infancy in Rwanda, approximately 28.0 children die before they reach the age of 1 as of 2020. In Singapore, on the other hand, 2.3 children do as of 2020. Have 68.1% fewer children in Rwanda, there are approximately 27.9 babies per 1,000 people as of 2020. In Singapore, there are 8.9 babies per 1,000 people as of 2020. Be 2.3 times more likely to have access to electricity in Rwanda, approximately 43% of the population has electricity access as of 2017. In Singapore, 100% of the population do as of 2016. Be 4.1 times more likely to have internet access in Rwanda, approximately 21.8% of the population has internet access as of 2018. In Singapore, about 88.2% do as of 2018. Be 25.8% more likely to have access to improved drinking water in Rwanda, approximately 80% of people have improved drinking water access as of 2017. In Singapore, 100% of people do as of 2017. Rwanda rate of population increase is greater than that of the global average but similar to that of neighboring countries. The birth rate, among the world's highest, is comparable to that of other countries in the region. The death rate is well above the world average and slightly above the rates of neighboring countries. Life expectancy, about 50 years, is below the world average but similar to the average for Africa. Rwanda population is young, with about two-fifths of the population under age 15 and another one-third between ages 15 and 29. Singapore is famous for being a global financial center, being among the most densely populated places in the world, having a world-class city airport with a waterfall, and a botanic garden that is a World Heritage Site. Singapore is known as a tourist destination and for its hot and humid climate, being very clean, and growing an area due to reclaimed land. The city-state is a shopper's paradise, besides the usual luxury brands sold in luxurious malls with luxury air conditioning, you can buy almost everything except chewing gum. Singapore is also known as, Instant Asia, because it offers visitors a quick glimpse of the Asian cultures that immigrants have brought from all parts of the continent. Rwanda also follows in Singapore's footsteps with its success in curbing corruption and cultivating the rule of law, in stark contrast to its neighbors, where courts and judges have miserable reputations. And unlike many other ostensible African success stories, Rwanda doesn't seem to have made its progress at the cost of widening inequality. The government's policies have produced steady growth.